Hi everyone. The audio on this episode messed up a bit, so we're joining Torin just as he entered the mine. We might be able to make use of this trap. If we get a bandit... <laughs> are there any bandits? Well, if there are any, if we get one to follow us back... Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Not very good at sneaking at all. Oh, there we go. Leveled up. Yeah, they're gonna come up here, aren't they? Okay, get ready. We're gonna do it. Oh, they're going away again. Yeah, look! <laughs> That's so good! That's perfect! Wow! I really didn't think that was going to work. I thought something would go wrong. <laughs> okay, let's go. Try not to walk into any spike-filled pits or filthy skeever dens. Or have uh, a load of rocks fall on you. That was great. Okay, so mead, fur armor. Maybe we should, uh, let's see, warmth 17. And what's our, oh, look at that. I don't get this. This is more warm than wearing furs. Really weird. Who knows how this thing works. Steel war pick. I'm leaving the armor because it just tends to weigh you down a lot. Hmm. Interesting. I think, just as they noticed me when they came down here, they were one of them was saying, "And don't forget the rock trap," or something like that. <laughs> well, they did forget the rock trap when it. Uh, at the worst possible moment. We can't do any cooking here, that's a shame. Now we'll, we will do some mining there because there's a pickaxe. What is it? Iron, yeah. But we'll do it later. Wouldn't want to be discovered working in their mine <laughs> and killed. Hmm, which way should we go? Let's go up. Oh. Ah. Ah, I see. Very clever. Oh, times like this, I truly appreciate. It. Hello. Thought I heard something. Well, look at that. He's got a Nodachi. We can have a Nodachi fight. <laughs> oh, both hit each other. <laughs> oh, brutal. They don't stand a chance. These bandits. They're just nobodies. They got all these antique swords that aren't even worth anything. Uh, yes, let's grab that. Lock pick. And uh, iron mace, but yeah, copper and onyx circlet. That's nice. Let's take them, because they don't weigh much. And I think there was some loot in here. Hmm. Alto wine. It's always good. I wonder if when we get our uh, get our house and we build our wine cellar, I wonder if there's any kind of like wine rack furniture piece that you can have. Or if we're just going to have to hide them away in like a cupboard or something and we won't see them ever. Hmm. Okay. Let's go this way. Very dark in here. Ooh. What was oh. That? Hey, you. 
Time to end this little game. Oh, thinks he's clever. Oh. <laughs> wow. Ember shard mine key lock picks. Steel war axe. Okay, great. We really need a torch or something to carry through here. Uh, it's just a shame because there we go. I've got a torch now. It's a shame because this is a two-handed sword. So, but I'm aware that you're watching this and you don't want to. Oh, oh, that's keys. <laughs> you're watching this and it's just going to be a black screen basically if I if I don't get a torch. Is that more iron? So we're in an iron mine. Ember shard is an iron mine. It's fine. Not the best source of riches in the world, but here we go. We have some nice food from here. Maybe we can make some stew or soup at the campsite later. Spell tome clairvoyance. Oh yeah. I remember that. Uh, right. Get all this. It's just a normal tankard. You never find like silver tankards or anything in this, do you? They'd be good for looting. Bleeding crown. Okay, uh, we don't need them. Don't really want an iron great sword in our collection of two-handed swords. They're not that special, really. Garlic. Regenerate magicka. And yes, the chest is not locked. Oh! Look at that! Armor 47, Dwarven armor. Amazing. No wonder they were keeping it hidden away there. Plus a steel ingot that we can use to upgrade the Nodachi. That's a really good find. Amulet of Stendar block. 10% more damage with your shield. We don't really need that. 50 gold. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. We're carrying too much. So, I might give you my bone mold armor to carry and wear. Probably need something. I am an apprentice wizard, not a pack mule. Oh, very well. See if you can take it. Yeah. Oh, we're still carrying too much. Oh, no, we're not. It's fine. We'll equip that. 235 out of 245. Plus, we're carrying all those crappy old Let's antique swords, then. too, so we don't really need them. Will the key unlock it? Yes. Looked like, yeah, this was for prisoners. I wonder what their connection was to the Jarl. I guess maybe he knew they had taken over the mine. He knew they were bandits, they weren't normal miners, and that they were robbing people and things on the road as well. But he was probably just taking a cut from their profits. I think he said, actually, didn't he? That's what he was doing. 18 gold? Hello. Yeah, there is someone here. Someone who's about to kill you. <laughs> nice. Uh, no Dachi, please. He's a bit tougher, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Oh, slashed. Slashed to pieces. Oh, that was him, the leader. He wasn't a bandit chief like the other guy. Okay, that's great. Now, what did you have? I'm sorry if all the combat seems to be happening in the dark in this playthrough, but it's uh, what you get with bandit bandit lairs. Ugh, got blood all over my face. Okay, they, they love these antique steel swords, don't they? Uh, what's the weight? Two, three, five. Yeah, now we're carrying too much. Um, uh, the others were antique iron swords, okay. Well, that's worth double. May as well drop two of them. There. Oh, he's got a bow. And he's a bandit outlaw as well. Oh, there's two of them. He did say, don't leave any survivors. He's an elf by the looks of him. Oh! oh blooming, blooming neck. Uh, 
Potion of Restore Health, please. He's dead. Okay. Now let's go up there. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's dead already, as usual. <laughs> Wine, yes, please. Uh, steel arrows, yeah, may as well take them. Steel dagger, as it uh, doesn't weigh much. Oh, look, here's the here's the storeroom. That's what we like to see. These guys are uh, quite rich bandits, aren't they? Oops. Oops. Uh, God's willing, we'll find a chest full of gold in one of these papers. We really need to um, do some cooking soon, don't we? Oh, what's that? Amethysts. This is great. We're getting rich from this. Very nice. Plus, they don't seem to ever lock their chests, so that's great. Great news for us. What do we look like with the Dwarven armor? Yeah, very nice. More wine. Uh, you always take the alcohol. Oh, this is great. I'll have some nice food by the campfire tonight. Charred skiva hide. I don't think you can actually cook that in the game. You, that's like it's been it's skiva hide that's been cooked, but you can't actually cook skiva hide yourself. All you can get from them is their tail. I guess you can eat that, but probably doesn't taste very nice. It's just an alchemy ingredient. Now what's through here? Hmm. More ore. Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, it's locked. As it's just novice, let's do it. Sixty gold, copper and ruby circlet. That's great. Let's have that. Leave the shield. Uh, to be honest, I'm not going to go out of my way to um, mine the iron ore in this mine. It's just iron. I think we'll leave that actually. It's not even any use to us. The main thing we wanted was that steel ingot, which we've got now. Let's just get the torch again. It says any jewels lying on the ground. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, we can do it here. Let's do it. So, from 23 damage to 24 damage, that's worth doing. Let's see. Ah, what's that? Iron ingots. Do they have a smelter down here? No. There's some more. Uh, okay, light armor forging. Smithing increased. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, okay. Maybe we should eat some food. Is that more ore down there? No, it's just the rock. Oh yeah, it's one of those. Okay, um, let's just check this. Mm, nothing. Need steel for those. Hmm. And I think Dwarven armor needs Dwarven metal, which you can only get uh, from Dwarven ruins, I think. And I might be wrong. Okay, food. Uh, well, we can just drink some mead, I think, and we'll be fine. <laughs> One more bottle of mead to celebrate winning against the bandits. Ooh, quarter staff, eh? Nice. It'll be quite fun to use that. I'll go stopping for a nap. If you fall As a character. Place, you'll never wake up. Yeah, that's good advice. Uh, what time is it anyway? Lunch time.
yeah i think i'm pretty sure we've explored the whole place if we haven't i'm not that bothered really i don't think there are uh, let's see any more uh bandits to kill that's the entrance with the rock trap let's just double check Fine. We went up there, didn't we? But what was down there? I'm really bad at navigating around mines. Ah, oh, yeah. So look, it's there's been a cave in a hundred years ago anyway, with someone's coin purse and journal, tattered journal. They've had me working down here for days now. It's not the time that's getting to me, though, it's these tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra supports to the weak sections of tunnel. If only we had more of those wooden beams that we reinforced with bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear the earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? Uh, okay, I read that in an orc's voice. <laughs> Let's say he was a Nord who was raised by orcs but also loved mead. Uh, oops. Uh, okay. Don't know when that guy died in that cave-in because he was just a skeleton. <laughs> Seems the bandits weren't interested in his coins or his journal. Oops. Now, actually, you know what? One thing we could do... Ooh, iron Wakizashi. Another Akaviri weapon. Um, oh, obviously I'm overburdened. One thing we could do, actually, is just have a nap in there uh, and level up. Let's do that and let me drop that iron... Actually, let's give it to Mercurio. Hmm? I am an apprentice wizard. It's like a short sword, a I think. Mule. Oh, very well, but make it quick. There you go. Oh, we're still carrying too much. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. You lead, I'll follow. Okay. Quickly come back in here. We know they're all dead, so it's fine to sleep here. Okay, so it feels like ages since we leveled up. We've been choosing health and stamina. Uh, health is 130. Let's go for stamina because if we're going to keep using heavier and heavier great swords, we're going to need it. And let's see. Smithing uh, heavy armor could could do with heavy armor. That that um, amulet we've got is really nice, though so it uh, adds a lot to our heavy armor skill. Um two-handed maybe or let's look at the speech skills there it is speech so let's see haggling that requires 40 we're on 28 allure 10% prices with the opposite sex I mean that's only gonna work half the time and it's only gonna give us 10% bribe guards to ignore crimes we don't need merchant that would be good wouldn't it sell any type of item to any type of merchant. Persuasion, we don't really need any of that. Well, uh, we can't even get that anyway. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alchemy is 25. I say let's go for two-handed. So we could get that, 40% more damage. We could get less stamina. Oh, we, we have that already. Um, so these are the spe weapon specialization perks. Limb splitter, axes, 
great swords, deep wounds, attacks with great swords have a 10% chance of doing critical damage. Let's get that. I like that. Wonder if we'll ever get to the head chopping one. Uh, oh, where is the head chopping one? Devastating blow, that's it. Standing power attacks. Do 25% bonus damage with a chance to decapitate your enemies. That's great. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is like a mine, mine cart track for the cart. <laughs> that works well. It's cold as oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Mercurio. Okay, so back to town. It is half four in the afternoon. Is it? No, half three in the afternoon. Should be fine. It's half four in real life because I just checked the time. Here we go. Yeah, very nice dwarven armor we've got and we'll let you wear up. You know what, I'm not even happy about him wearing that bone mold armor. It, it's the armor that, that saved our ass in uh, Solstheim and I want to put it on display in our house. I don't want him sweating in it. So when we get back, I think I might just, you know, buy him a robe or something. He doesn't need to wear armor because he never get enemies never get close enough to him to hit him. He'll be fine. What's this? The victory is yours. I huh? Oh. Oh. I think he's dead. Yes. Thought that guy was talking to me when he said that. There are dragons about, traveler. He warned. The next it was gone. This is, uh, oh, oh yeah, well, I guess maybe there's some truth to that because I was at Helgen and saw loads of burned bodies. Then you've seen them too. We lost our home, our livestock. We barely have enough gold to get by. Oh yeah, they're covered in, like, soot. Ah, uh, well, there you go. Have five gold. Thank you, traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. Wow. Well, maybe it's true then. What uh, people have been talking about. I mean, none of my business, of course, Torin would think. So, it's probably not worth using up our camping supplies this afternoon as we don't really need to sleep out in the open we're gonna get back to town quite quickly I think so that means we'll be buying food in town again which is fine we can afford it but I'm just wondering if the inn is gonna run out of money oh look at that ah, there's a hunter hunter with a campfire doesn't look like the kind of campfire we can use to cook though. I keep picking these thistles and I don't know what they do. Oh, what's going on? A lot of action in the uh, in the countryside today. It's just a hunter, I think. This yeah, this region is full of hunters, isn't it? Pretty bad weather today, as usual in Skyrim. Look at that up there. I mean, we don't know if it's wor really worth investigating that because 
we don't have any more um, carrying capacity, although maybe Mercurio might. Let's see, can we get there? Uh huh. Oh, yep, someone's here, all right. Oh, look, that's like that's a Spriggan's head. This could be risky. Let's quick save. Come on, let's investigate what this is. Falkreath Watchtower. But something pretty bad has happened here, it seems. I know I heard something. I knew it. Aha! Oh! Prentice Necromancer as well. Oh. Cold spells are bad when you've got a two-handed weapon because they drain your stamina. Come on, Mercurio, where are you? <laughs> uh, restore the health. Fortify two-handed. And we want restore stamina as well. Let's favourite that. Or minor stamina. We'll use the one that the Jarl gave us. Oh, that's them gone. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. Weird. Ah, this was the Apprentice Necromancer, and this was a zombie. Strange. Very strange. Okay, well, did well putting putting an end to her then. That's why. That's why this Kajit was just wearing really normal-looking clothes. Okay. Potion of extra magicka. Hmm. Necromancer robes. Oh, we can carry that. Yeah. Can't cook anything there, but we can take this nice looking gem. Liminal bridges. Conjuration increased again. I remember this one. It's crazy. A discourse on the theory and praxis of travelling between Mundus and Oblivion. Mundus is the... I, th I don't know if it's their name for the... It's not the name of the planet. I think it means like this plane of existence, the physical plane. Transliminal passage of quickened objects or entities without the persistent agency of hyperagonal media is not possible. And if, even if possible, would result in instantaneous retromission of the transported reference. I've never actually read this one all the way through, <laughs> but it's worth a bit, so we'll take it. And let's just take the Book of Daedra as well. Okay, there's a chest. Four gold, petty soul gem, and potion of minor healing. Yeah, well, Valkyrie's Watchtower was taken over by Necromancer and is now no longer taken over by Necromancer, so that's a good result. Oh, wow. I guess these were the guards. Don't know how she managed to, like, kill the town guards so easily by herself when she was pretty rubbish. Yeah, let's just eat some stuff. Uh, oh, we picked up loads of weight. Okay, we got any more antique swords? Yeah. There you go. Right, so... Which way are we going? Down there. That's Falkreath down there. Yeah, I can see the houses. Okay. You're going to have to follow us. We're going fell running. I think that's what you call it. We do running across really, really rocky, horrible <laughs> terrain out in the countryside. the time. 5.46pm. The Isle should still be in. That's the... I think that's the cemetery there. And the temple. Oh. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Ah. 
Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Could be good news. Who knows? Letter from Jarl Sitgear Falkry. Torin Greymere, allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> He's got a very short memory. My name is Sitgear, and I have the honour to be the Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkry. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you are in Falkreath. Aside from the honour that, that accrues to the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house call. I can also tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Jarl, Sal uh, Jarl Sidgear of Falkreath. That's exactly what we wanted. And I forgot, yeah, you can become Thane with a personal house call, which means slow old Mercurio, wherever he is, he's going to be fired, I'm afraid, but uh, that's the way it goes. He was paid, you know, 500 or 1,000 gold for his services, and he's, he's earned, earned it well. <laughs> so, firstly, what we should probably do is... Just go to... Well, I guess just go to the Jarl straight away. Hello, Nari. Where is he? Here he is. Okay, come on. Um. Yeah, I've, I've got a feeling he might disappear with our armour when we say goodbye to him, but anyway... We need our reward as well. Oh. oh, is he in his room being guarded by I protect him. the Jarl, whoever that might be. Do you mind if I if I go in? Uh, knock knock. Falkreath Cemetery reminds us that war is not new. Mm. Right. Good to see you. Finally someone useful is around. Oh, he likes me. Finally. Yes. What is it that you want? I killed the leader of Embishad. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You 500. I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um... Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use. <laughs> That's great. So basically we've managed to get what we wanted, permission to buy land in Falkreath by um, participating in some extremely dodgy and illegal business for the Jarl. That's perfect. I mean, that's just the way it goes, isn't it, in Skyrim? It's not uh, any kind of perfect place to live. Uh, this is just the kind of thing that happens here, so yeah, let that be a lesson to you. So I've got a feeling we might need to talk to the steward who I saw outside just before we came in. We might need to talk to her about buying land. Where is she? don't know where she was going. Maybe to the inn. the courier there. Uh, let's see if she's in the inn. I imagine she she needs a drink after working for him all day. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Hmm. Okay. Well, she's somewhere. Uh. I escaped. Let's see. It's 7 p.m. Only to have it track me down again in Sky. Time for dinner. And um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to leave it right there. And next time, we can finally, finally, in episode uh, 22, I guess it will be, buy that land. So thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, give it a like and remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.